Hey guys, so today I'm doing a quick tutorial. I know I said I was going to do some location scouting, but I decided, well, actually today is just going to be way too busy, and I don't have time to go location scouting today. I've got a bunch of stuff to do. So instead, I'm going to do this quick tutorial to show you how I edit eyes to make them pop. So the first thing that you want to do is create a new layer and you are going to change the mode to soft light, fill with soft light neutral color, 50% gray, and I am just going to name this light, and I'm going to create another new layer, and put shadow on this one, and do the exact same thing with the mode, down to soft light, and fill with soft light neutral color, 50% gray. I'm going to start on the light layer, and you're going to use your brush tool on soft light, 100% opacity, and let's just go ahead and zoom in on these pretty peepers. So the first thing you want to do is, or what I do is, is I go around the iris of the eye and highlight that in. Obviously, this is really extreme, but you can always bring the opacity down. I'm going to white, whiten the whites of her eye also. And you're going to do this on both eyes. So the iris and the whites of the eye. Now I also go and I go back and double highlight on where there's highlights in her eye just to really make that highlight pop. Obviously this is super extreme and I'm not gonna say that this doesn't look good because it just depends on what style you're going for. If you really want um, more painting looking, then I think this would be okay. But if you're going for a more natural look for portraits or fashion, I think you definitely want to tone this down. So the second step is for the shadows and you're going to switch it to black and I should have said that before you are painting with white and you're going to paint with black on this and I'm just going to bring the opacity down because I never like the darks as dark as I like the whites as bright if that makes sense so you're just going to go around the um the pupil in both eyes and then you are going to go around the eyes and darken this spot up Oops. Now, obviously, that is really, 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 really intense. And here's a couple more tricks. Go back on the light layer, and um, I like to line the bottom waterline here, and that can make the eye appear larger. Obviously, it doesn't really work on this image, but I'm just going to do it for demonstration purposes. And then also, to make them pop a little bit more, you lighten up this inner corner. And it doesn't really work for this image because the eyes were really smoky and dark. But you um, lighten up just right here in the inner corner and it's going to make your eyes look larger and they're going to pop more. But for this image, I'm taking it away because her eyes are not supposed to be um, so light in the inner corner. They're supposed to be really smoky. So I'm just going to zoom out and I'm going to go ahead and group these layers so you can see what has happened. And this image is straight out of camera besides what I've just done to the eyes here. So you can see how it really just makes them pop, makes them look more um, interesting. But honestly, I would take this down a bit. Um, I'm going to take it, them both down a little. But it's really made them pop. It's really made a big difference, I think. Um, there's also another way that you could add some contrast to the eyes. And basically that's all you do is you add contrast. I'm going to show you that right now. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your lasso tool. And you're going to select the eye area. 
and then you're going to use a curves layer. You're going to bring this down in the blacks and then pull this up. And obviously this is really intense. And I don't like how black that ended up, so I'm going to bring this up a little. And you can fiddle with this as much as you like, however you want to do this. Let's just zoom out and let you see what this happened. How I'm just having a really hard time speaking today. Okay, so let's zoom out and just look at the um, the contrast and the difference that this has made to the eyes. And obviously, you can play with the opacity of the curves layer. Yeah. But yeah, that is just a really quick, easy way to make the eyes pop, and that's how I edit eyes. Um, so that's two ways that you can add some interest and pop to the eyes, and to really bring out the eyes in your portraits. I hope that this tutorial helped you, and I hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye!